Hey viewers, welcome to another quick tip. I was about to head out of the office, but thought I'd do a quick reporting before I get out of here. I was gonna show you how to create pivot tables in Spotfire and how to pivot your tables. So yes, I just use that as a noun and a verb, and I'll show you the two different ways you can use this. Let's jump right in. All right, so for the concepts of pivoting, I like to use a weight loss competition as an example. So here I have these different individuals and every month they're taking a measurement for their weight. And this is all gonna work well until I need additional months. And all of a sudden, now adding new columns for additional months is gonna change the structure of my data table. And if I need new years, what do I do? Do I just keep doing this? This isn't very scalable. So as an alternative, there is a tall and narrow format where I have the months, names, and weights, each in a different column, and for each new month and each new measurement, I just add a new row. And if I need to do something like maybe the year, I can just add a column for maybe the year, and this will continue to scale. Now there are still advantages of using a wide format, such as if you had different categorical variables or you wanna do other different configurations or analysis. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the best of both worlds. Okay, so here I got World Bank data for the United States, the UK, Australia, all stacked together. And you can see here, I have these different metrics for the populations. And this is shown over time for the countries and the individual measurements of values are all shown in one column here. So metrics in one column, values in another column. Now, here's just a simple table visualization, but if I wanna do a pivot table in Spotfire, I'm actually gonna use a cross table. So I'll just drag this over. And here you'll see that I can choose how I wanna split up all my different columns. So I'll choose here my individual metrics and let's maximize this. I got thousands of different variables in here all shown across. So that's all of my different metrics. And I have the country names here, but if I wanna split this up by year, I can put this by year and this will show each country and then by year. And if I wanna maybe group the countries together, I can kind of reorder this. And this is for you know 1960, all those different countries. And I'm seeing a lot of missing values in here. I mean, some are filled in. There's some missing values here. I also have this uh, measurement axis for an aggregation. Let's go back to the weight loss example and discuss this. Now let's say just for an example, Roger took two measurements in April. He was feeling pretty good about himself. He went ahead and weighed himself twice. Now this works in this tall and narrow format because I can just have new rows. However, when I go to the wide format, there's only one place for Roger's April measurement. So how do I deal with these two values? Well, I need to aggregate them. So I can average them, I can do the median, I can do a sum, whatever aggregation I want. Now, if I didn't have measurements for a certain month and an individual, that wouldn't show up in the tall and narrow format because I just wouldn't have a row for it. But in this wide format, that would come up as an empty value. So let's jump back to Spotfire. Okay, so here I see all these empty values. Let's say I took out the year, and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. So now I have all the countries, all the years are collapsed on each other, they're all aggregated, and this is showing the average for each of those. But if I change it to something like maybe the maximum, boom, those are all gonna change, and that's because this is the maximum yearly value for each of those countries in that metric. Now this tall and narrow format can be useful because you can still visualize in the wide way, but if you wanna do something like, let's say a line chart, and I wanted to color this by all the thousands of different metrics, boom, that's just one click. It's all right easy uh, right there. I could even line it by the different country names, and you can see now all the different countries, all the different metrics, all in a simple configuration. If I had it in a wide format, and it was structured in a wide format, I'd have to add them individually with the plus icon. But let's show how I can create that into a wide format. Let's actually structure this data that way. So we're gonna pivot this table. And to pivot this table, you go ahead and you add a transformation and you add the pivoting transformation. Now I can add it right here on my, my uh, original data table, but I'm gonna do something a little different and show you a little trick. Here, you can add the same data table back into the analysis, you can link to it. So I'm gonna add the same data table and rename it, um, you know, the pivoted data. And I'm gonna hit okay. Now the same data table is brought in and I'm gonna add my pivoting transformation here. So I'll insert this, I get to choose each of my individual rows. So I could do this by year and I probably wanna do this by the country name as well. So put the country in there. Um, now I can do the metric for the columns, just like we did with our cross table and the values. It's actually named a value in this data set. So I'll do the values and I'll change my aggregation to average here. Now this is gonna give me kind of a, a little bit of a, a messy name. It's gonna show the average value for that metric. And I can clean this up. I get 
the aggregation method with M, the column title with C, and the, um, uh, the value name with V. So I'll just change this to percent %C, and that is going to kind of clean up this name here. And we'll come back to transfer columns in a second. Okay, so now the data table has this pivoting transformation, it's all in the wide form. The actual data table is formatted in the wide way. But I still have the tall and narrow format as well. And why might I wanna use both of these? Well, first, let's just quickly visualize that, uh, that wide way. So we have the pivoted data table. So this is an actual table visualization. This is showing that pivoted data table, the wide format. Now the tall one was nice for using things like this line chart, and I also have tons of variables here. I got, I got 2,000 different uh, variables in this metric column, so I can filter to things like life expectancy and just select a few of these, and you can see that all the tall data just filtered to just life expectancy, but this wide one still has all the variables. I can just right-click this, go to Create Filter Transformation, and boom, this is going to add an actual transformation right into my data canvas for that filtered rows. And that's then gonna be passed down right into my pivoted data. So now my wide data has just those variables. I didn't have to individually select those from the wide data. The other thing is that using the wide data gives you different advantages. So with this pivoted data, I can use like the AI recommendations to search by different variables and select them that way. I get other different chart configurations. So you have the option for both here. Now quickly going back to these transfer columns, let's say I just wanted to look at the individual years and I wanted to bring them together. So I'll remove country out of here and I just have rows for the years, but I wanna know what countries were involved in this. So I could use maybe the country names and that's gonna transfer it to this. And you'll see this has multiple United States here and that's because there's multiple values that have all been combined and that's being concatenated and I could actually use something like the unique concatenate, and that'll only show the countries that are involved there. Now this is only showing the first 100 rows or so, so it's only showing United States, but let me go ahead and hit OK, and have this transformation apply. And now in my wide data table, I can go all the way over to the right, and I get this unique concatenate. This is showing Australia, United Kingdom, United States. They're all being concatenated and brought together. So that's an option for a transfer column. All right, everyone, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to have more quick tips coming for you next week. See you next time. Bye.